everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Oh, we're back where we were at the end of last episode, whatever number that was, you know that I can never remember. Uh, I think we're about to enter Evelyn's Cave, I think that was the idea. Uh, yes, Hidden Lair time, here we go. Let's just head in there, without further ado. An anemic cultist waiting around the corner for us. Uh, so I don't think we need the spider to kill him, do we? So let's just get out there in the open straight away. Hello. Can we go to one side? No, we haven't. So come out here and deal with this person, please. Thank you very much. Wish all the fights were that easy, eh? Their daughter. I really have to walk all the way around to get that. And a piece of cheese. And there's a key on the floor. Let's get that. Uh, a quick save there. What have we got here? On, oh, warriors. Why do you need to see Evelyn? Uh, well, myself, I need a hand choosing drapes for me kitchen windows. Are you daft? I need to inform her about the happenings in the Black Cove. But since my lady seems to have barred her gates to the likes of us, why don't you tell her this, small bugs? No. We're running to a snag in the cove, but we're pushing through. Starstone will be hers soon enough. Okay, what's going on in the Black Cove? Like we don't know. I reckon if you don't already know, that may be above your pay grade. Take it up with Evelyn, why don't you? All right, you or should get out of here. Yet. Have a look for yourself. <laughs> you seem like just the type those pirates would love to get their hands on. Is that right, small bones? Maybe you can give me a single good reason for I rip your arms out. Uh, let's go for the charm, because you know how charming we are. Uh, rock. Paper. Damn it. Oh, we got it. Scissors. Damn it. Just one more and we win. Oh, don't do this to me. There we go. I'm not sure I wanted to win that. I think I'd rather they won it and I could have Fair killed enough. them. Bones, fair enough. Let the good lady know we look forward to meeting with her, will ya? Oh, damn it. That's a shame. I wonder. Yeah, no point. Check these corpses. Pick that up. beyond this gate are awfully boring. They just go back and forth between the same places over and over. Okay. Check this last corpse. Alright, how are we going to do this? Let's get in and find our way. These fellows are so focused on their work, they seem to be impervious to any other distractions. Even the hollering of orcs couldn't shake them out of their strange stupor. Well, let's see if a spider comes, shall we? Those there. Are I, you I <laughs> there we go. Immaculate in the name of the conduit. Oh, nearly. Let's move up a little bit. Oh, what did I hit then? Why didn't I hit it? Oh, I did. 
Alright, let's get that on. Proof of precision. Way there. Spidey. Oh, we're not going to kill him, so let's try and weaken him. Did that work? Yes, it did. Excellent. What have we got here? Cultish Ranger. Move you forward a little bit. Have we not got encourage on you? That's strange. Who can I hit? I'll have to knock you down then. May the hurting winds pulverize you. Get some John Zombie Jake on the job. Zombie Jake? What am I talking about? Zombie Nick? Should be able to remember my own name. Right, before one. Uh, okay, let's fortify you. Reinforcements! Where can we get that? Yes. Slurp of coffee. Oh, 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 oh. No poison. Ouch. I'm cursed. Oh dear. I'm burning. Oh, Nick's not going to be very happy. Nice one. That saved me doing it. We've got a lot of immaculates here. Cultist initiates and fighters. Rangers. You keep your focus on the spider and Nick, that's the way to do it. I'll write my next tale in your blood. Uh, let's try his foot. Nice. Don't want steam cloud. I've got no fire arrows. Oh, I'm lacking a little bit here. I'm not putting my stuff on the hot bar. Right. Let's try this then. Oh, look at that. Like Only a little bit of damage, but it's losers. all of them. All right, finish that one. Thank you. Go with that one. Okay, uh, Medora. Knock you down. Oh, does that get anybody? Oh, just missed out on um, Quick swing of that, there we go. Keep you topped up. And what have we got here? Ooh. Okay.
Bless him by a daughter. Should increase her position, I think. Let's have a look. Make sure. Oh, where's Blast gun? Did it fail? Not bad, always blessed. Why does that not show up? Apart from on the name. Alright. Not to worry. Oh, we can extend the fire here. Let's extend that over to him, shall we? There we go. I'll make short work of this scam. And as usual, as soon as I start recording, the dog starts barking. Without fail. Spidey and uh, Nick soon by the look of it. Oh, come on, run through the poison. That would be nice of you. And the group talk lovely. Shame I haven't got any of these skills I need to do anything. <laughs> Explosive arrow. I should do nicely. See, if I get you to there, can you hit? Yes, that's all you can do, though. And what we're using today, we're using fire damage, so I should be okay. Let's get rid of the initiate if we can. Immune to burning on Medora, okay, if I could, so instead we'll put it on Bear Daughter. Air damage. You're gonna die from the flames, so we'll try you. 900 experience, thank you very much. And this will finish these two off, I think. Meet your demise! And we have level ups all round. Excellent. Right, can't see them now. Oh, he's dead. Oh. If this battle be my last, no, I went out fighting in your name. Right, this way first. to here. There we go. You're not going to cause me any problems, are you? Oh yeah, come on, Medora. Sort him out. Ooh. see? No, we can't. Can't see targets. Okay. Bide your time. No glory in this death. Right, who is it we're waiting for then? Oh, there's one there. That's the final one. Let's get some rain down. I am drenched. Little heel on the Medora. Right, a quick look at this level up before we start looting all the stuff. Um, what are we on? I think 
constitution and speed is all right at the moment. Let's... No, put one in on constitution. Uh, two available skills. Right, we need more to upgrade those, so we'll hang on to those points. Strength 10. Hmm. Constitution up again, I think. Uh, we need more to upgrade that, so we'll save her points as well. Constitution. Three points. Oh, we can upgrade one of these. Which one shall we do? Let's do pyrokinetic. Up to level three, that's ideal. And bear daughter. Nine, ten, eight. I guess takes territory up to ten. I think. That's already at three. That's at two. Might as well save the points and upgrade ball next time, I think. Alright. Well, let us get looting. The seven grant abundance. Anything good? Let's have a look. Identify. Blacksmithing. Okay, I'll we'll take that. One hand here. Let's add on to Medora in case we change her spec. Magical armor portion, plus 10 armor. Nice. I'll tell you if we could use those. Medora. Strength portions, Medora. What have I think gone? Right, next we have some more junk. Searching gold in a pile of logs, that's an <laughs> unusual place to find gold. Secrets of the scroll, pennybone mushroom, jawless skull. Interest here, let's have a look. Right, have a quick look here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about getting drunk by the look of it. A gifted mage is also a, a calligrapher. And the author composes on scrolls and even skill books. Appropriate pot of ink and quill enchanted with pixie dust. Okay. Magic ink pot and quill. Blasphemy. Okay, I don't need to read that. That's for selling. As is that. As is that, homemade two-handed sword. Okay. Little save.
Nice, for our elemental scroll. Right, a little bit of healing here, I think, is in order. Make sure we're up to max. Sweet relief! Some separation here, I think. We've got Zombie Jake there, the Conduit, and Evelyn. Right. Further forward, I think. About there, about there. There we go. And Roderick, what have we got here? Fire resistance portion, consume that. Do you do that? Curse your stupidity, Evelyn! Look over there. Your foolish games have brought source hunters into our very midst. I have no time for these distractions. Bracus Rex's resurrection is at hand. Deal with these insects and join me. Understand? Of course, O oh Holy Conduit. I will deal with them swiftly. See to it that you do. You! Your stomping through my affairs has cost me dearly. Dearly than you'll ever know. What a pleasure it will be to see the source shred your every last sinew. Uh, then it's true you're a sorcerer. Yes, a sorcerer, disciple of blood, chaser of life everlasting. For a true sorcerer, death is but an inconvenience to rid oneself of, Hunter. Bracchus Rex, centuries in his grave, will walk again, healthy as a newborn babe. That is our power. The power of sorcery. Uh, what is Counselor Jake doing here, and what have you done to him? That wretch is but a thrall, a tool. But the conduit trusted him. I was determined to find out why, and resurrected him. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of an annoyance. But no matter. We're nearly through, aren't we, Jake? Just a little more pain. I wonder if I can move this about while well, she's saying all this. Uh, yeah, I can. There we go. Uh, do I want to, though? There we go. That'll do. Uh, tell me more about the lady you call the conduit. She Leandra is her name. The Conduit is her title. She aims to bring about... But no, you are not worthy of such knowledge. The bird does not explain to the worm why it devours it. He was the greatest sorcerer ever to have lived. His power outmatches us all. The secrets he carries within him are phenomenal. He will aid us in our task, Hunter. All you have seen, all we are trying to do, this is but the beginning. That healing stone you had, was it fueled by source magic too? You mean my bloodstone, I suppose? Ha! It was named like that for a reason, source hunter. I'll put it simply. We start with starstone. A pretty gem, but hardly special. It contains a potential, though. Known only to the enlightened few. If imbued with blood, Starstone contains the power to heal. A life given to the stone is a life one can give to another. To save a great life, a great life must be sacrificed. 
This is what the conduit has taught us. Okay, I'm sitting Consider for that, I think. the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again. Okay, here we go. The Jake's on his way out. And of course the fire portion wore off because it took too long to go through all the conversation. Makes sense. Should have thought of that, Nick. Uh, right, what can we do here? Fire's going to be not good because they're going to heal. Uh, so, first of all... Get that on. Let's get all of those in that. Thank you. Cyclops Wizard. Thank you. Ah, uh, what we've here? Zombie Nick. It's not over till the headless man sings. <laughs> Nothing else, I don't think. No. I'm on fire! Yes, I know you're on fire. Um, Spidey in there. I need to get you out of the fire. So we'll move you back a little bit. Thank you. Oh, yes. Only one attack to do that. Excellent. That's two hills gone. Wow. He took out Zombie Jake in one there. The zombie Jake. Zombie Nick. Good grief. Alright, Faye's going to heal these. So I need to get rid of that. Ouch. Something died. Get out of my way. Okay, that was good. That's even better. Little heal. Thank you. Heal Roderick, please. He's out of the game. Air damage. Should to work on that. Yes. Failed. Uh, what were we using? Got one with water damage. No, I haven't. That's a shame.
Try your water, Haru. Freezing, Haru. 179 damage. Awesome. And again, please. Oh, what? Bless the seven, I am restored! You very nearly made that mistake then. Water damage. Face the Thank unending you. darkness. Uh, get out of there, please. Thank you. Heal there. Air damage. Hmm. Oh god, that stunned him. Frozen again. Not enough AP. Right. That's him gone. Hmm, I don't really want to go over that yet. There we go. Little heal. Oh, I needed that. Oh, I can reach. Excellent. Stunned again. I needed that. Uh, damage. So close. Um. Lifts like a feather. There we go. Like a troll. Ah, just Evelyn left. No, 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 no. Let's get in the face. Water damage can't reach. A tiny amount of damage. Time maybe. Feel the pain of my stain. Oh, good, that's stunned. Bless Bear Daughter. Come on, Dora, show us what you've got. And again. Oh, so close. Right. Let's switch to the most damage we have, which is that. And bye bye, Evelyn. Oh, 
Councillor Jake, I presume. The very same. Jake, Councillor by day, Sorcerer by night, Martyr in death. Uh, you say you're a martyr, what do you mean by that? Mean? Do you contest it, man? You presumptuous dog. I died. Died serving the conduit. Leandra! Leandra! Oh, blessed conduit. I'd have followed you till the end of time. Oh, right, okay. Well, before you, you talk to me anymore, let's take these off you. <laughs> uh, what's he asking for that? Sell. Just that, that. Okay, I was looking like that's about it. Eighteen strength and fourteen fire resistance. Mm. Oh, we'll just get that off him, it's purple. Thank you. There we go, Jake. Continue. It wasn't to be. I was stuck down in the prime of my sorcery. And by whom? Leandra's own sister. The pox upon her. Hold on. So you were killed by the conduit's sister? about your murder? My murder. A tale of woe. The time a misty midnight. The place the King Crab Inn. The players. Myself. Leandra. Ikara. And a stranger whose identity I have never established. The conduit was there to meet with this stranger and had tasked me to stand ready to overpower him if necessary. I heard sounds of passion at first, but later of angry argument. Then I heard Leandra's command, and I entered the room. She swerved past me, and oh, I can still feel the rasp of her holy breath upon my ear, whispered, finish him. A man lay on the floor, struck down and ready for my knife which I plunged deep into his heart. Yet, but not a moment later, Ikara burst through the window, and I was defenseless. She savagely tore my life from my body, and I died in the glow of the source. A holy martyr, slain in the name of the conduit. Why did Evelyn resurrect you? Foolish grasper. She who thought herself the conjurer's favorite couldn't stand that I had been privileged as a confidant. When she realized the conduit had been in the inn the night I was killed, she couldn't stand to think that I had been trusted where she had not. She brought me back to unlife so that I would reveal what I knew. She wanted to work her way back into the conduit's confidence. But as you saw, Leandra had no interest in Evelyn's petty tricks. Evelyn mentioned the resurrection of Bracchus Rex. Do you know anything about him? Yes, yes. The king is dead, but not for long. Long live the king! For Bracchus Rex has no equal hunter. His knowledge of the source is absolute. And through him, so will the conduits be. The hour is 
Snarl. You do not realize it yet, but his axe is falling towards your scrawny neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take my leave. But I, I am a little used to Leandra's cause now. My worm-eaten grind is an insult to her perfection. To my grave, then, I will go. I suppose she'll not grant me my portion of rest. Okay, so then. Like as Rex was he, though only half as holy, the Source King. He is more than legend. Right, loots. Let's the see what we've got. The immaculate snake sprouts a new head wherever we look. If I murder victims, one of them crazy cultists, anyone could be. Now, don't mind me, uh, companions. Just have a conversation on your own. <laughs> right, nice robe. Smelly scarf. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, lots of stuff, but nothing nice by the look of it. That's very disappointing. Nothing at all. Take all that. Bucket broad skill blasphemy, we've already got blasphemy, I don't want another one. Getting plenty of potion bottles while we're here, that's something I suppose. Put a little heal on myself. Into the fray once more. And we need to tag all these up as well. Oh, I needed that. There we go. As good as a new penny. Whoops. Their daughter. Why am I doing it on the uh, Medora? <coughs> right, desk. Ooh. Nineteen one talent uh, on crafting. Uh, send that to Medora, I think. Blank, blank. Anything else? I think I made the decision, was it last episode or the one before, that I might use Medora as the crafter, since Jahan is no longer with us. What have we got there? Uh, nothing, it appears that is it. Alright, let's head back to uh, North Gate. Source Hunter. You have done it, haven't you? You've discovered the fate of Councillor Jake. Uh, so I have. Let me get you up to speed. By the gods. No one could have predicted such a dark turn of events. This is worse than my deepest fears made manifest. It just cannot be that they aim to resurrect him. Bracchus Rex. It cannot be. Forgive me, this news just so very <laughs> upsetting. This thing. It was the king of tyrants. The embodiment of terror. The lunatics that seek his rise must be stopped, whatever the cost. Uh, you seem to take this matter greatly to heart, are you? I... I do. I do indeed. Bracchus would unseat the king of demons in sheer perfidy and malice given half a chance. For the world, for you and I to suffer his perversions once more is unthinkable. The possibility of his return is more than I can bear. And Ikara, that she has been dragged into this sorry business adds insult to insufferable injury. 
If these necromancers seek to resurrect Baracus, they must be gathering at his grave. Do you know why this is where we should look? There have long been rumours that Bracchus's corpse was interred in the vaults beneath the abandoned Church of the Seven in Sicil's eastern hinterlands. That place is crawling with undead these days, so the rumours may well be true. Where Leandra goes, the dead rise left and right. And even in death, the long-lost tyrant's corruption appears to persist. Come to think of it, did anyone in Evelyn's lair mention the name... Cassandra? Cassandra? No, no one mentioned that name. Why? It's nothing, Hunter. Nothing. My mind is reeling, but I... I'll feel better soon. After you've cut short Leandra's dark pursuits. Why'd you be more Nikara's involvement in all this? She is a great woman, Hunter. A champion of all that is good and pure. She may have killed Jake, but then again, the man turned out to be a vile sorcerer. I can only surmise that she is on to her sister's sinister schemes, which makes me fear for her safety more than anything else. We saw the leader of this cult, Leandra, a sorceress. Leandra. I know her, though I haven't seen her in years. As you know, she and Ikara are sisters. It's hard for me to believe that she's leading this cult. That she's delirious enough to go after Bracchus Rex. But clearly her involvement can no longer be denied. She's as smart as ten wizards put together, Hunter. An opponent to be feared. Now, you said Jake and Evelyn called her the Conduit, didn't you? In that case, she may just be the elusive head of the Immaculates. And what are the Immaculates? There's a village in the forests north of Sicil where a new religion has taken hold. Its followers call themselves Immaculates. And I've heard say they worship a leader called the Conduit. This village is called Silverglen. And if my suspicions turn out to be correct, there is sorcery at work there. Do you have any idea who the stranger might be that Jake told us about? The one Leandra was meeting in the tavern. Alas, I haven't the foggiest. Another sorcerer, perhaps? Or simply another victim of Leandra's ploys? The Legion didn't find a second body at the scene of the crime. So maybe he escaped with his life after all. Though, just as likely, his body too was taken away by Evelyn for... experimentation. Hmm, we should continue our investigation. And just let me check something before you run off, Ahu. Uh, are you talking to Scarlet, Roderick? Get rid of that. No, I don't need those. Get rid of those. Thank you, Ahu. And I will see if I can find out more about Ikara's involvement. But in the meantime, please, please pursue Leandra to the old church in the east and stop her before she can raise Bracchus. I beg of you. Okie dokie. Bracchus Rex's name alone is enough to turn our friendly neighborhood wizard into a scaredy cat. I wonder why this ancient spectre spooks him so. Ahu doesn't strike me as the type to scare very easily. And so the mystery is solved. Councillor Jake was murdered by this so-called white witch, Ikara. But as it stands, I guess our next concern is Bracchus Rex. Then we know what we must do next. Pursue Leandra and stop her before she brings Bracchus Rex back to life. Agreed. If Bracchus is half as dangerous as Jake and Evelyn claimed, we must prevent his ever seeing the light of day again. Ah, uh, bold. Very nice. Alright, folks, that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, the next episode, I dare say, we will be... Heading towards the church area. 
and taking on a couple of the mini bosses like the uh, the twins by fire joined and the king of bones is it it's called the baron of bones that's it that's the one the baron of bones so next episode we'll probably take a look at those so thanks for watching and don't forget if you do like the videos please leave me a like and subscribe this is all gray sign off